Magical deep sleep awaits in this bedtime story and guided sleep meditation for adults. Time travel to another century as you explore an enchanted forest that leads to a cottage of good witches sought after for their timeless healing spells. The three witches greet you with supernatural insights and white magic. As their special guest, you spend the night in a quiet alcove of their woodland home, where you enjoy insightful and vivid dreams of the days to come. It's time to dream away. I'd like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you delve into this beguiling escape, you may think of my voice as that of a sleep fairy and dear old friend on this journey through time and space. I am here to remind you that you are safe, you are cared for, and you deserve to take the time you need just for you to rejuvenate. Free of any judgment, let your imagination soar. Before you cross over the entrancing bridge to your sleeping life. Let go of my voice at any time you like. If sleep calls to you, and you are ready to surrender to its comforts. Remember this tale, and this meditation is by your design, however you see fit to your whims and fancy, and snugly tucked into your bed or a safe place for sleeping. Feel your heavy eyes close upon your tired eyes. Wiggle out any tension before getting cozy. Focus on the darkness created by your closed eyes, like shutters on the windows of a home. You go deeper within as you take in a big breath. So deep you may yawn and feel as if you could float away into the night. And then you sigh it all out. Make a sound as you let go of the day, sinking down. And inhale again as a sensation of floating returns. And you find you are levitating above your bed. As you exhale, the coverings on your window are carried on a breeze as your window opens. You begin to drift outside your window, up and up towards the starry night's sky. You are soaring above your home and town as if swimming through the crisp night air. The dimness of the landscape below is illuminated by the sliver of a crescent moon. You look to the moon as it gets closer and closer, feeling a smile form on your face, mimicking the curves of the silver lunar beauty. You hear a whisper and look to see there is an enchantress carelessly lounging within the half circle of the moon. She is otherworldly with a pearly glow and a dress that cascades around her body like the waves of an incoming tide. Her long silvery hair flows down her back and she points to you before curling her index finger in a come-hither motion. As you get closer, she says your name and asks, 
Are you ready for an adventure? You feel a safe sense of trust as you see her kind, twinkling eyes and nod. Floating so close you could almost touch the moon, she reaches out and touches your shoulder, whispering, this night is all for you. As she touches you, your body begins to shimmer and you tingle from head to toe in a sensation of warmth. Your form changes while you drift back towards the earth like stardust. You are floating on a crisp breeze through another dimension in time and space. The cells of your body have dispersed into a swarm of glowing sparkles raining down from a night sky. Twinkling like a swarm of fireflies, you softly fall through the lush autumn-hued leaves of a dark enchanted forest. All of you comes back together in human form as your feet land on the purple-black floor of an enchanted forest. You balance on the damp, rich earth that smells of wet tobacco and sweet, decaying leaves. Adorned in tightly laced boots and a tailored wool coat cinched at the waist, the wool of the coat rides on the soft winds like a parachute. The gnarled trunks and branches of the tree come to life, beckoning you to enter the depths of the forest. A torch magically appears in your hand, and you feel the smooth, sanded wooden handle, and watch as the flame flickers and brightens the pathway in an orange marmalade glow. You hear the trees whispering to you. Follow the path to the heart of the woods. The branches of a tree dance on the night's air as it whispers. You are right where you belong. The crescent moon, now barely visible beneath the lush canopy of leaves and peak fall colors, is high in the sky. You can still feel the encouraging warmth of the enchantress in the moon as you carry on down the path. A soft mist, like a lavender veil, wafts through the animated trees just above the forest floor. The soft pastel hue conjures feelings of inspiration, wisdom, and magic. And as you walk alone, you reflect on the healing you seek from the revered witches your body melts in the surrender that comes from a long walk in a new environment and you feel flexible and bendy. Every place of tension in your body is now free. You feel better physically and mentally and emotionally than you have ever felt before or at least in a very long time. In the near distance, fairies illuminate the darkness like a rainbow of Chinese lanterns. As you get closer, you hear them laughing and singing quietly. It lures you in until they take notice 
greeting you as if they have been waiting for your arrival. The fairies fly around you until you are in a circle of their vibrant illumination. You feel the gentle winds created by their transparent kaleidoscope wings that light up around you. The wise leader of the fairies flies towards the tip of your nose and you look into her emerald green eyes. Telepathically, she sends you the thought that you will find healing tonight. Many blissful things are to come if you let your heart believe. She then flies towards your chest and presses her tiny palm against your heart center. A vibrant green light emanates from her small hand, growing in size as it connects to you. You instantly feel sensations of love and an openness to receiving. Your shoulder blades draw together as if they were to kiss, and your heart feels full. She tells you that you are now able to receive the gifts of the enchanted forest. A beautiful red fox cuts through the fog, beckoned by the circle of fairies. The lead fairy explains that the fox will lead you to the witch's cottage. You thank her and the rest of the fairies as their nocturnal song plays on in your head like a soothing song. Their music is like a cool bucket of water poured over the sparks of your thoughts that now come to a silence in a feeling of deep gratitude. The fox is agile and you walk behind him, intoxicated by the internal enlightenment that makes you feel light and carefree. With each step, you feel your feet hovering above the forest's floor before landing again on the earth's damp softness. You focus on his bushy copper tail and its white underside that acts like a reflector of light, helping to guide the way. The slithering dark path comes to a clearing where pumpkins grow on thick green vines. Close to the ground, they come to life as the fox approaches them. Like a Broadway marquee, the pumpkins are illuminated by handwritten words that light up the forest. You take in their messages as you walk by. Hope, peace, joy, believe, love, destiny, magic. You feel the power of these illuminated words and you stay in stride with the weaving fox to continue on. You smell an exotic aroma that wafts on a trail of smoke and smells of burning wood, cinnamon, cloves, and something tangy that you cannot identify. The fox comes to a babbling brook with dark metallic violet waters that sparkle from silver bubbles and bioluminescence. A footbridge magically appears out of the mist 
and the fox guides you across it before the bridge mysteriously evaporates. Then you see it. The cottage belonging to the witches. A shower of stars arcing like a rainbow pours onto the fantastic dwelling in the heart of the woods. The cottage is made of ancient stones and juniper wood logs with a thatched roof. Juniper is known for offering protection by banishing anything injurious to health and it offers peace, health, and love. In front of the cottage is a garden surrounded by a whimsical fence of knotty logs that twist like black licorice. Healing plants including lavender and sage, chamomile and evening primrose flourish within the garden as they are cast in the darkness of the night. The fox runs up the uneven wooden steps to a deck, arriving at the heavy door with a cast iron knocker. He turns back and meets your gaze. You place your torch in an ornamental bracket that hangs from the deck and ascend the stairs feeling as your coat dusts their surface. You grasp the cold metal ring knocker and knock it against the door three times. The door instantly opens on its own into the cottage and you bask in the golden glow of light from tapered candles that hang from a chandelier and a roaring fire in the kitchen, burning beneath a cauldron. The witches see you before you can make them out as your eyes adjust to the light. The fox stands in the threshold and nods approvingly to the witches before dashing off into the night. You see the three witches, and each one of them reminds you of someone from your past. Although you cannot precisely remember who, you feel a sense of trust that goes lifetimes back. Feeling as if you have come across each witch before, if only in a childhood dream buried deep within the sacred confines of your memories. They seem to be of varying ages, sisters of a sacred tribe with beauty that comes from their sparkling eyes that connect and see all before you have revealed a thing. The most energetic and youthful looking witch comes to you, dressed in an emerald green and black velvet medieval style gown. She is the witch of healing all things, be them physical or emotional or mental. Her hair cascades down her back and she smiles, instantly giving you a feeling of vivacity. Your attention goes to your pulse, feeling it as a reminder of your own life force. A tiny black cat runs across the ancient, unpolished, wide wooden boards of the cottage and comes to smell your coat. The second witch, a bit older, is dressed in a ruby and purple robe. Her special powers involve love 
in all the forms that it comes. She is nurturing and greets you, helping you to remove your coat and hang it on a hook by the door that is artistically crafted to resemble the gnarled tree branches of the forest. The exotic aroma you smell deep in the woods is now the heavy perfume that carries across the room, spicy yet sweet. It evokes the comforts of a home in fall. The third witch continues to observe from afar, as if in a dreamy trance. She is adorned in a gown of royal blue velvet with a gold brocade that flows like the waves of the ocean. She reveals to you that her specialty is a focus on time, healing wounds of the past while creating spells in the present that set you on the path for your best future. The witches bring a chair to the center of the room, placed beneath the candelabra that hangs from the ceiling. You take a seat as the youthful witch gets on her knees and removes your shoes and wool socks. The witch of love brings a bowl of steamy water and floating flowers and herbs she places your bare feet into it. The Witch of Time comes closer and places her warm palm on your forehead as her thumb presses lightly on your third eye, massaging it. In this moment, you feel heavy, sinking into the chair as your muscles twitch from the long walk and begin to melt into the warmth of the room. Your feet and ankles release tension, tingling in the steamy floral water of the bowl. The Witch of Healing assesses your feet, finding acupressure points where she presses and intuits places in your body that can benefit from her healing potions. You close your eyes as the Witch of Time continues to massage your third eye, and it feels as if a door has opened. Your intuition is suddenly enlivened, and with your eyes still closed, the sounds of the witches at work becomes a hypnotic shuffle. You feel like you are in a lucid dream floating through time. You are on a raft through the lavender mist of the enchanted forest, weightless and guided by destiny. And you see yourself in the future you are not alone. You are accompanied by earlier versions of you as a young child and as a teen. And together the you of the past and the you of today are witnessing the future you, living out your dream life. The things you have wanted are right before you. You sense the time and work it took to get there, but somehow knowing and seeing makes it all worth the effort because you are so sure it will happen. This dream may be something you have not told another soul because it is so sacred, you worry the opinions of others could taint it. But the Witch of Time knows, and she helps ease you into accepting the reality 
of this deeply set vision for your life. She says to you, it's not too late. You have time. You open your eyes and come back to the witch's cottage. The witch of love brings you a tonic that is steamy and carbonated. She says it is to help you be reminded of the love you feel for yourself and your life. The Witch of Time tells you to let go of your past as you sip this love-inducing elixir. For it is the you of today you must accept to move towards the you of your dreams. All that has happened in time for a reason to get you to the healing cottage on this magical night. The Witch of Healing has a minty balm that she rubs on your neck and shoulders, massaging deeply into your muscles and doing the knots of life and stress. You sip the elixir which tastes sweet and spicy and tingles like soda made with fresh ginger. It warms your throat and belly, comforting you and settling your stomach. The witches form a circle around you and clasp hands. They raise their arms overhead towards the thatched roof. For a moment, the roof floats away and you are beneath the showering stars and nymph in the crescent moon. Your chair rises as you float and the witches levitate as well and you are reminded that you are a part of this vast universe. You are part of powers and energy that cannot be seen or heard, and yet they are still there. You are part of something infinite. A welcome visitor in a world that will outlast you. The witches lower their arms as the roof gracefully lands back on the cottage, like autumn leaves collecting on the forest floor. Your chair lands on the wooden floor and you smile. Your eyes focus on the fire roaring beneath the cauldron that the witches now fill with lavender and chamomile. The soporific smells fill the room, relaxing you and making you feel quite tired. As you take a big yawn, the Witch of Healing clasps your hand with her warm, strong fingers. She guides you from the room as the other witches tidy up. She leads you to a hidden staircase that twirls around the back of the cottage. You take one dusty step at a time until you arrive to an alcove beneath the angled thatch roof. A single candle illuminates the cozy nook as she leads you to a bed. There's a white cotton gown beneath a sprig of lavender. She hugs you gently and encourages you to go to sleep for the night. The alcove is as cozy as the hollow of a juniper tree. You change into the soft gown and peel back the heavy quilt on the bed. 
feeling the weight of the blanket on you. The witch of love comes in to tuck you in. Brushing your hair back, she soothes you in a motherly way. And you sense the deepest of unconditional love when you look into her glittery eyes. She urges you to fall asleep to sweet dreams, gently massaging your eyelids and temples as you start to drift away towards sleep. You listen as her dress rustles as she leaves the alcove and her boots click on the steps of the stairs. You smell lavender in the air as you take in a deep breath and contently sigh it out, sinking deeper into the bed as the autumn wind stirs leaves on the thatched roof. You let go and surrender to the dreams that will guide you to magical lands and deep peace. Drifting down towards sleep. Imagining you are floating across the starry night sky and crescent moon as the lady in the moon smiles at you. Inhaling the lavender air, letting it go, light and carefree, you let go, ready to cross over the magical bridge to healing respite. And I am going to count you down to a night of healing, tranquil sleep. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finding peace. Finding stillness, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night.